The Maldives is one of the wonders of the world. Located in the Indian Ocean and made of 1,192 coral islands, it is also the world's lowest line country. The highest natural point is just 2.4 meters above sea level. Nearly half of its population lives in Mali, the capital of the islands, in less than 1.4 square kilometers. The rest is spread over 100 86 small scattered islands. Except for Mali and a handful of other islands. Most islands rely on rain for drinking water. Today, one of the main problems for Maldivians is water. And it is likely to get worse with climate change. While northern islands face drinking water shortages during the dry season, from April to May, most southern islands face a different problem, flooding. Islands affected by floods and shortages of portable water receive relief from the capital island, Malay. Transportation costs are high with the Maldives scattered geography this makes emergency relief very expensive for a government already struggling economically. Climate change is expected to bring stronger storms and longer periods without rainfall. The weather is becoming more and more unpredictable with heavy rains or longer dry season. Today, rainwater, together with water produced using desalination and expensive bottled water, are the only portable water options. In the past 10 years, the National Disasters Management Center in Mali had to send emergency shipments of water to about half of the 186 inhabited islands during the dry season. An expensive solution that sometimes can take up to two weeks to arrive. Most households have one tank of 2,500 liters and fill it by collecting rain from their roofs. Bigger families might even have two or three tanks, since one is not enough for them to make it through the dry season. The United Nations Development Program is supporting the government of the Maldives to ensure that most vulnerable islands have year-round access to portable water and that they can cope with floods on their own. UNDP has supported three islands to set up pilot integrated water resources management systems. These systems make use of solar energy to desalinate seawater and combine it with rainwater collected from the island's public roofs to lower the costs of operations. The systems optimize means to collect, store, and distribute water and to refill the island's groundwater lenses. So far, three desalination plants have been built in the islands with large populations. The water is piped to all households, where a meter measures the family's consumption. Ahmad Musa lives with his 30 members family in Mahi Baru Island, the capital of Alif Dalatol, where a solar desalination plant has been built. Because desalination plants are expensive on islands with less than 1,500 inhabitants, the government is increasing the capacity to store rainwater, setting community water tanks. The Green Climate Fund is supporting the Maldives to diversify its sources of fresh water it is funding the construction of four additional solar desalination plants in four islands and community rainwater tanks in 45 islands with smaller populations. This will provide 105,000 people with uninterrupted water access. 
Our new project will provide water to over 30% of the whole population. To tackle flooding, the National Disaster Management Center have established flood response mechanisms, such as mobile water pumps, sand barriers, and improving response times to support flood-prone islands. Better relief mechanisms for flooding and water supply work by decentralizing relief responses to regional centers. Solar desalination plants built closer to communities will half the current costs of sending emergency water from the capital island of Mali. Water demand is expected to grow with a projected increase of 60% in the number of households by 2033. The next 20 years will be critical for the water sector in the Maldives.